Jesse, I'm going to pass this question over to you. And, and this one might resonate with some people. It resonates with me. Somebody asks, I have the worst sweet tooth. It's out of control. Can you help with that? So usually from my years of coaching, the biggest trigger to a sweet tooth is that you are low blood sugar. You are having a, a deprivation in your body and your body needs fuel immediately. And it is smart and it knows I'm going to get the quickest amount of energy, pure sugar, right? So it's going to, you know, go for that candy bar. It's going to go for the fruit versus the jerky or, you know, whatever that sweetness is that you're craving. Um, it usually is an imbalance. It's usually that you didn't eat enough. So the number one thing that I would say probably every coach notices with every new client <laughs> minus that 1% that's special uh, is that those, those that come into us with a sweet tooth, it's usually gone in the first seven days. So what we have, what we have been able to conquer is keeping ahead of the game, right? So like Angelo kind of mentioned earlier, we're here to direct your body. We're not here to take orders from your body, right? We're here to say, Hey, this is what you're going to get used to. And as soon as it gets used to it, we're going to make a change based on how it responded. And so that sweet tooth is such a, such a huge, um, importance when we're first getting started, because if you're having those sweet tooths, if you're having the cravings at night, right, usually that's when that sweet tooth creeps in, or maybe at that three o'clock, you know, in the afternoon where your blood sugar start to tank, it's been a while, maybe you need snack and you haven't had one. Uh, those are all very normal responses from your body saying, hey, I need fuel and I need it now. So what I would say to somebody who has a sugar craving is eat more during your day, have a bigger breakfast. If you're not having carbs at breakfast and maybe you're just having eggs and bacon, have some toast with it, have some oatmeal with it, make a sweet potato with it, do whatever you need to do to increase your carbs, the good kind ahead of the, uh, you know, ahead of the day. And then throughout your day, you'll notice that that craving is either lessened or even gone. Right. And so most, most people come to us say, Hey, can I eat more at night and take away that food during the day? No, you cannot. <laughs> we need you to eat that fuel, that food for fuel during the day so that when you hit dinner time, your body has everything it needs and it's ready to start burning that fat. So that's what we're looking at. And we're changing, we're train, we're changing how your body responds really. And so that sugar craving, it, uh, it's variable, but usually we can help you with it. If that helped. And then we have sweet, we have like little tricks and trades, right? We've got our recipes. We all like our sweet stuff. So uh, I know one of our coaches loves those extracts. So if you guys like lemon extract or maple, maple extract, you could put a little drop of that on your oatmeal, make it all sweet and delicious. Um, but definitely ways to, to help with the sugar cravings. But the goal is to eliminate them by healthy eating, stabilizing that blood sugar.